Today, I'm gonna to give you a look at the 10 Mile Creek Project and also try to explain why it took 20 years to build. 10 Mile Creek is a tributary to the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. The problem is the creek drains almost all the agriculture land that is west of Fort Pierce. In 1995, the DEP put out a report called the Pesticide Contamination in 10 Mile Creek. 14 different pesticides were found, and the scary thing was, some of the levels of these chemicals were the highest ever recorded in the state of Florida. As a result of this study, 10 Mile Creek was deemed too dangerous for the public to use. A plan was put together to build a reservoir and a stormwater treatment area to clean the water before it was allowed to go into the North Fork. Congress authorized the project in 1996 with a price tag of $33 million. The reservoir would be built on 526 acres of existing citrus and pasture land. A 15-foot dike would surround the entire site and the project was designed to store and clean 5.7 billion gallons per year. That's roughly half of the water that flows through the creek per year. Wouldn't it be nice if we could design a project that would clean it all up instead of just half of it? The Army Corps of Engineers would construct the dikes, pump house, and the STA. Upon completion, the Corps would turn the project over to the South Florida Water Management District, which would then maintain it. In September of 2007, the Corps finished the project and turned it over to the state. They began filling the reservoir, but when the water got to a foot deep, the dike started leaking. In 2008, a top South Florida Water Management District manager publicly stated that it was so flawed that it was a real public safety hazard so they refused to take over the project until it was fixed. Lots of finger pointing began and the Corps blamed the engineers that designed it, so both parties lawyered up and started the legal battle that lasted 10 years. The case was settled in 2015 and the Corps received $4 million, but no other details were ever released. The project was supposed to be a prototype for future Everglades restoration. How are they ever going to fix the Everglades when they can't even build a 500-acre reservoir? In the fall of 2016, the South Florida Water Management District began to fix the problems at a cost of $7.5 million. They had to fix the adjacent canal that was eating away at the dike and remove the stair steps on the interior side of the dike because the wildlife, especially the turtles, were getting trapped. In the summer of 2017, the repairs were finished and after 20 years, this project was finally completed. The park is now open and you can access it off of Gordy Road. It has a canoe launch area, picnic tables, and a beautiful nature trail that winds through moss-covered trees and crosses over several creeks. Fishing is also allowed and snook can easily be caught at the spillway. A couple months later, Hurricane Irma hit us with 12 inches of rain and caused one of the worst fish kills on record. Millions of fish lay dead in the North Fork of the St. Lucie. They all suffocated because oxygen levels plummet when chemicals get washed into our rivers. We need to stop this and get these farmers to quit poisoning our rivers with their toxic chemicals. Taxpayers shouldn't have to pay millions of dollars to clean up their mess. If we don't get a handle on this problem, there won't be any fish left to die. Today, I'm gonna to give you a look at the 10 Mile Creek Project and also try to explain why it took 20 years to build. 10 Mile Creek is a tributary to the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. The problem is the creek drains almost all the agriculture land that is west of Fort Pierce. In 1995, the DEP 